Hey all, Russ here over TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are heading into Badlands. The Badlands National Park here in South Dakota. The gate should be right up here. We just crossed on the property. Kind of looking forward to this. Never been through here. Looked at it a few times on the maps. got my uh, senior pass out we'll get on in Wow there it is there's the start of it cool it's right around 8 o'clock in the morning I picked this time so we'd get the sunshine behind us so the color should be good driving through this This is Highway 240, they call it the Badlands Loop. We actually uh, end up in Wall, W-A-L-L, Wall, South Dakota, where Wall Drug is. So that's the goal. There's some pole outs here. You know, all kinds of hiking trails. If you look at this thing on the maps, there is just trail after trail where you end up seeing some really fantastic views. Almost looks like Mars, doesn't it? Look at the different tiers of the formations over the millions of years. This is dinosaur country too. They look for fossils all over the place. There's a rental RV. Pretty good parking for big rigs. This stretch of road I think goes like 30 miles to get through the park. Now we got the sun behind us. Now you can really see the colors of the little mountains here, rocks, different formations. Look at that green grass right next to this stuff. <laughs> Weather's hot as usual. Good old South Dakota in the summer. That road's closed off. There's definitely camping all over around in here. There's a little town on the other side called Interior. There's supposed to be campgrounds over there too, RV parks. This is not a huge national park if you look at it on the maps I mean it's big but I've seen bigger but I'm pretty sure the drive was like 30 30 plus miles going through here we'll find a couple stops there's supposed to be a visitor center too down bottom of this hill I believe so here we go wow now you can really see out over it cool here we go <laughs> enjoy the ride we are dropping down 25 mile an hour you bet they got a lot of these little pull-offs here blocked off can't so I really can't stop it's okay, I'm sure we'll find places. There's one there, but let's go down a little farther. Get some more of this good sunshine behind us. Wow, now you can really see out. Big old valley here, huh? Goes a vanner. Seen a bunch of vans here recently. 
Well, with Sturgis and everything going, you see motorcycles, vans, campers, RVs, absolutely everywhere. Here comes a motorhome. Okay, right here on the left, here's their visitor center. It's kind of cool, cool little stop. It's open 9 to 4, uh, pretty much every day, I believe. The inside, they got pretty good uh, displays, shows a landscape of the Badlands, a lot of wildlife stuff. Definitely all kinds of dinosaur uh, skeletons, bones that have actually been discovered here. They give you quite a bit of history. Shows what the lands used to look like. Look at the size of those bones. Incredible. But just display after display. Plus they do active digging. You can actually go in and see uh, real time work on uh, old dinosaur bones and skulls and all kinds of stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And this place up here on the left looks like they got a bunch of cabins you can rent. Not sure the cost. I didn't do that kind of research, but uh, definitely you can check it out online. They do rent cabins here. Now this is on the park property, so that would be through uh, national parks there. Then this road here to the left. It'll take you over to a little campground where you can camp right here in the and also over to that town called Interior. It's mainly tent camping, but they did have a couple sites with hookups. I tried to reserve a spot but couldn't get in. It was too sold out. But you can see what it is. They got, you know, vaulted toilets. Got little covers over the picnic tables because the winds just scream here big time. Be a fun little stop to camp for sure. Well, here we go. We're going to cross the Badlands National Park on 240 here. Green trees, green grass, and them uh, old dirt looking mountains, huh? <laughs> Absolutely cool. I'll find a place up here we'll pull off and uh, take a little sneak peek. Slow ride through here. They got speed limits 25 and 35. And that's okay. Let's stop here. Check it out. This was probably uh, farmland at some time. Quite a bit of grass. Little pathways down through there. So you can do quite a bit of hiking here. Well, let's pop back in the van. We'll keep on trucking. You know it would really go good here is one of those electric bikes or a mountain bike. Because you get pretty good range on those electric bikes anymore. Heck, you could go quite a ways. Wouldn't have to pedal. <laughs> My type of bicycle. Just the different colors. This reminds me so much of the petrified forest area, painted desert down in Arizona. Almost looks identical, the terrain, except for the grass. There's no grass down there. But they got a much cooler and wetter climate up here. Those trees look pretty happy. And of course the snow, my goodness. Winters here are brutal. Absolutely brutal. Feet of snow, probably. <laughs> 
So if you're wondering what it'd be like to drive through Mars, <laughs> this would probably be it. Really cool looking. Glad I came through here. Decent road too. Looks pretty well maintained. It's actually a highway. You can cut through to different towns. There is, it is fee based. To, you got to pay to get in here. That senior card. I've used that thing so many times now. That has just absolutely saved me a fortune. The senior card is uh, through the National Park Service. Cost you eighty dollars for a lifetime pass. Years ago, it used to be cheaper than that, even. And it gets you in all the national parks, monuments. You get discounts on camping, all kinds of good stuff. So, if you're over 62, highly suggest getting one if you're going to be out traveling like this. Now, there's a cattle grate. This might be even be open range. I bet it is. Look at all the grassland they could uh, graze on. Absolutely incredible. What scenery, huh? Enjoy the views. There's plenty of them. Now we're climbing up out of here. Look at this. Gonna get views from up top. Cool. Wow, this is as far as you can see. Goodness. What great access we have to this in here. Look at that. Well, that's absolutely gorgeous. All right, starting to flatten out. We're getting out of the little mountains now. One last look back that way. Check this out. Now on this side, look over here. Nothing but Badlands, National Park. <laughs> then, you look off to the right, right over here. Those are farms and private property. That's how close to the property line we are right here. We can see farms way out there. Look, it's just all grassy farm fields. Then over here, Badlands. <laughs> Now that's cool. How would you like to live here? I wouldn't mind it. Except in uh, December, January, February, and March. <laughs> Alright. We'll find another pull out. See something good. Here's one. Get out of the van, take a little walk. We'll go up this walkway, see what we got. I bet it's a good view. What do you think? maintenance it says trails might get icy oh yeah now we're gonna get a view here you go a 
deck with a view. See what it says here. Air pollution, a threat to the Badlands. Well, all the fire smoke, you can still see the haze. That fire smoke has been around almost all summer long. You can see the low lying haze. That's definitely air pollution. But what of you, anyway? This would be a good sunset one when the sun is setting. That's looking off towards the east. Way out's pastures. Way, way out, you can actually see farms. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're kind of riding on top of it. Here's another one. Let's stop. Now there's a perfect setup. Pulling a little trailer like that with a car. Probably goes all over the country. Alright. Pull over here. Get parked. There's goats around here, mountain goats. It's pretty steep down through there. I just seen a goat da run down through there. Well, he didn't run. <laughs> but he's going right along the cliff. Okay, what do we got here? Homesteads and ranches. Wow. Could you imagine living here back in the day? Now there's your home on the prairie. Oh my goodness. Think of the life back then. Ha. Huh. Cool. Look at that picture. Got his own phonograph here. I'll be darned. What a view. Yeah, they got to have cattle around here. And probably water. Looks pretty dry though, huh? Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. If you can see them. Right there. There's a mountain goat. People watching. Them guys can walk straight up and down these uh, cliffs. Absolutely amazing. There's a whole family of them. Very, very cool stop. This is one of these little drives, bring you a little lunch if you're not in an RV, throw it in your car, on your motorcycle. I've seen quite a few motorcycles. What a road to ride. Can't beat this weather, almost no wind. Absolutely perfect. It's a lot greener. The colors are different on the landscape. Oh, cool. Let me pull off here a sec. Let me get a video of this, what I'm talking about. But the uh, sides are all greened up, so they must have a lot better water moisture up here. See how green looking it is? Then it gets up a certain level, then it turns back to brown. No clue what the elevation is here, but look at it. Very different. They definitely got water here.
This is the other side of the road. I walk across the road. That greenery goes way up through that like a little valley. Huh. What if there's your uh, Kodak moment? There's your postcard picture, except for the car. <laughs> Well, it was cool. Just something different. I just happened to notice. I bet they really have open range through here because those cows could graze on that grass all day long. Cool. All right. Back through the lunar landscape here. <laughs> Doesn't it look like uh, those pictures you see from Mars and the moon and all that? More people are getting out now, too. It's getting a little later on. But I'm glad I did this timing because we got the best sunlight driving through here. We are really starting to climb up out of here. Going up pretty quick. We're getting pretty close to the end of it, not quite. Still got some more to go yet. There's a schoolie all set up. A lot of people doing the schoolie builds now. That's very popular. Well, heck, you can buy them for next to nothing. Well, it used to. <laughs> Who knows now? Price of diesel's really starting to shoot up though. Wow, look at this view. Absolutely gorgeous. If you get out this way, you have to take this drive. For sure. Well, we say let's stop. See what else we can find here. What's that say? Ancient Hunter's Overlook. Cool. Ancient Hunters. Wow. Look at the, looks like it's made out of bone, looks like arrowheads, rocks, and this is the same view they had way, way back when, we were, and we're looking at it, except for the paved road, sidewalk, and motorhomes and van. <laughs> this is what they seen up here, probably what, buffalo and all kinds of wildlife. What a place to hunt. Goodness. There's actually hiking trails down through there. There's the GoPro mounted on the van. That's how you get into most of the road shots video. Ancient Hunter's Overlook. Got to remember this one. What a view. This place is a photographer's dream. And I mean dream. A real photographer with the good equipment could, oh my goodness, capture uh, a lot of landscape. Think of all the wildlife that lives up in those uh, crevices and holes. He could really zoom in on it. Or her. Well, we're still climbing up out of this.
this really stretches out up top here as far as you can see. Well, here's the other entrance. People waiting to come in. What a neat drive, a 240 loop, Badlands loop. Over 30 miles, all the way through it. All kinds of neat stops, scenery, wildlife. Really cool visitor center. I mean, this Badlands National Park, I put this way top of the list. If you're ever cruising down I-90, you don't have to get out of the car. You could just stay in your car and drive the whole way. And there's the other entrance sign. Looks like the property line up here. All right, we're off to Wall Drug. Next stop, journey continues. Talk soon.